Okay, so as you may know, I'm getting ready to go to Disney. I know this isn't a ballet video, but I still think these are fun, video these are fun videos to watch, and I wanted to do one of my own. Um, so today is going to be a video on what to take into the parks with you for Disney parks, or what I take with me. Um, normally, you see people take everything out of their bag. I'm actually going to put all of it in my bag so that you can see that it all does fit. And I actually usually take a couple other things depending on situations, so I'll go over those at the end too. So to start, the bag that I like to use, this has been my favorite, and everybody asks me about it too, is this Michael Kors pink like rucksack bag. Um, I don't know that they make this one anymore, but I know they make similar ones. This is like the medium or large style. Um, actually, I could probably tell you because I still have the tag attached to it on the inside. I think. Yeah. This is the Rea Zip medium backpack. But I know when I was at Disney a few years ago, a girl had this and I actually went up to her, which I don't like to go up to people and ask them things because I'm like awkward like that. But I went up and asked her, I was like, hey, where's your backpack from? I love it. And then when she said Michael Kors, I was like, dang it, that's expensive. But in the next year, I ended up getting one because I liked it that much. So this is what I like to put everything in. Um, so to start, this is, so I will obviously take my wallet. Um, I actually, this is mine right now. I just, cause I haven't left yet. I haven't gone through and emptied out all the stuff I don't need. So these are, this is a little coach wallet. These are my favorite wallets because they like, you can get to everything super easily. Um, I just love being able to have everything in there. Um, but what I'll do for Disney is I'll go through and take out the few things that I need, like my ID, my credit card, cash. Um, that's like all that's in here that I would actually need in Disney, like my insurance cards maybe, but um, other than that, that's all I'll take out of here. So that's why I have an older one that's like broken, but that's the one I'll take to Disney because then I can just leave everything else in this. Um, but that'll go in here. So normally it's not as big as that, but that'll go in here. Um, I also will take gum. So never know. I will take, this looks a little sketchy because it's in this, but this is just ibuprofen. So I'll put like things like ibuprofen, Advil, Tylenol, whatever might be needed in that one. But then I do also have a separate one that is very important for me and maybe to some of you too, is uh, nausea medicine. So I get really motion sickness now anymore. I don't know why. Um, I either usually get boning, which doesn't make me drowsy, or this is Dramamine all day less drowsy. So um, don't get original and go to the parks because you will fall asleep. <laughs> um, but if you need to sleep on a plane, I guess that's fine. So this is what I take and I always take it with me just in case either I need it or if someone else does. Um, I always take some extra band-aids. Um, I know they have them in the parks, you can get them. So that's great, but I like to take my own too because I almost always get blisters. Um, I take a pen because you never know when you might need a pen for something. I take lots of bobby pins because, you know, your hair gets crazy, you may need bobby pins. So those go in there. Um, I'm going for my birthday this year, and I already have this from last time, so I'm just gonna take my birthday button. Um, I may get a new one, I don't know, but this is just easy to just put on. I also take my charging cable, so that. And with that, I have this giant pocket juice power brick that's, um, 7,800 mAh, I don't remember what that stands for, but it's pretty powerful. Um, so it can charge two or three devices, two devices at once. Um, and then that's how you charge it. So I'll take this with me and it can get my phone like quite a few charges in a day, which is awesome. Um, but you can also use the fuel rods at Disney, which you can buy one outside the parks for a lot cheaper. And then you just exchange it for one in the parks when you like run out of battery, which is awesome. Um, I may purchase one of those just to have one, but I do like having, because this thing is pretty heavy, I will say. It's like, it's a pretty solid piece, but it's always good, so I like to have that. Um, I also carry a little tiny hand sanitizer, because you just never know. Or hand wipes, sometimes I'll take those instead, but that's just what I have right now. Uh, sunglasses. You do not want to forget your sunglasses, because it will be sunny. I take... This is handy because I do a lot of photography at the parks. Um, this is like a little SD reader for my phone. So I can put, um, so my cameras also have Wi-Fi to my phone capability, but in case like videos, you can't do that with or larger files. So sometimes I'll just stick them in here and put them on. Or if I was using my big DSLR, which I'm not going to take to Disney, but that would be for this too. Um, obviously my magic band, which will be 
on me which will also be so there's another thing that I just always take it's not in my bag but I always take my Apple watch with my little bippity boppity brook button on it that I just got so I always have those um, I like to always have my like Disney jewelry with me whether I'm like I don't know it's like I love to wear it in the parks I love to wear all of it at once so my wrists kind of look a mess because I've got the Apple watch the magic band and then on top of that I have I like to wear all of my Alex and Ani bracelets um, which I have four of I have the Snow White whistle while you work one and I have so sometimes I'll stick these in my bag if I'm not ready to wear them all day. I have the Cinderella one. Um, I don't know if you're actually able to see these or not. I have one with just the Walt Disney World castle. And then I have one with um, Elsa and Anna on it. And then I also have a Lillian Co. Have Courage and Be Kind bangle, which I like to wear. So I wear those. And then I just recently got the Tangled Crown ring from Hot Topic that I kind of want to wear when I'm there so I will probably be wearing all of those but right now they're gonna go in here I also like to take a set of headphones because sometimes I'm one of those people usually I go by myself to the parks a lot because um, my cousins have to work for part of the day and then they'll meet me in there or whatever this time I'm going with a friend so I probably won't need these much but I still take a set of headphones um, these are just the Beats rose gold ones but I'll take a set of headphones to listen to while I'm just cruising on People Mover or um, on the monorail, on whatever. If I'm sitting in the hubgrass just relaxing, put on some tunes. Um, I will put, I will take a little powder with me. I am actually one of those people that will take a little more makeup in the park, so I may take like, I may also take like uh, eyeliner, mascara. Uh, usually I don't take the setting spray. I'll take, but I'll take more makeup than I normally would in my purse. Um, like concealer um, and then I usually have an option of lip stuff because I can never decide what to wear so I really like neutrally pink shades um, obviously phone um, this one also has the awesome case from pixie cases and it also has a pop socket that's Megara from Hercules so So that I will take two and then on this this is also key um, to have these apps are very handy come on you can do it so all of those apps for whether it's for the parks for shopping or the Disney play app are really good to have on your phone too and Disney does have Wi-Fi now so that helps um, I also take my ears Sometimes I may take two sets of ears with me. Now, I love these Disney Park ears, but these hurt. So sometimes I will take these and I'll take a pair that I got like off Etsy that I'll switch out throughout the day. So these already hurt just from putting them on for about two seconds. So they need to work on that. But I will put these in this bag because they will fit. Um, I haven't done this yet, but this time I may take my little tripod, um, maybe without the cell phone piece on top just because I don't really need it but to do vlogging um, and with that the camera that I'm filming on is the Canon G7X which I would do most videos on so that would be what I would use for that so I will probably take it this time I haven't in the past but we'll see um, the camera that I think I'm gonna take this time I'm debating between my two Olympus besides the Canon that's for video but for pictures it's gonna be one of my two Olympuses which are um, I have the Olympus e Pen EPL 9 and then I also have the Olympus OMD EM10 which is like their original of that one which is still a really good camera so and then this has a 45 millimeter lens or well it's 42.5 but it's like equal to like an 85 on a big DSLR camera because it's a micro four thirds lens so I'll take that um, I will also take a couple other lenses in this little pouch here so I will take the kit lens which is a 14 to 42 millimeter and then I will take this is one of my favorites this is the it's a 20 so it's more like a 50 on a normal camera um, yeah so I will take those in this little pouch also in this pouch I have extra batteries I have actually three batteries for the Olympus so I have an extra battery for this 
the other one's charging right now. <laughs> and then I have two extra Canon batteries because those die fast. I love that camera, but it dies fast. So those will go in there. And then I have, usually I don't have two extra SD cards, but I just happen to right now. So I'm probably gonna take them both just in case. I'd rather be safe than sorry with that. So those will go in there. I still have room in here, but, so here's the but on where I may take other things. I will probably, I have to find it, so I haven't found it yet, but I will probably take my little like fold up poncho-y raincoat thing um, because it always rains in Disney, always. And those are just easier than trying to do an umbrella when you're trying to fight through crowds and stuff. I bought a nice one off Amazon for like five bucks. That's like a giant, like almost like a trench coat, but it's like clear, um, but it has, it buttons up and it has a hood and it like goes like past my knees so it's really gonna cover you if it's like really raining so I will usually take that um, depending on the weather because we're going at the end of October um, it's probably still gonna be warm but it may get cooler at night so I may throw like a cardigan in here or something just in case like hey or I may just wrap something like around my waist like this spirit jersey or something who knows so there's that um, there is also I no matter what shoes I wear my feet hurt always doesn't matter if I wear gym shoes or what so I bought some super cute sparkly gym shoes, which actually I will show you guys because they're for this trip. And I'm gonna also do a video on packing for Disney, so these will be in that too. But these are from Bippy Boppy Bling. Um, so they're awesome. But I'm gonna wear these. Um, they don't really have a lot of padding in them, but I wouldn't expect that. Um, most of my gym shoes don't anyway. But I will probably bring these, but also bring a pair of like Javiana, like, um, flip-flops that I have that are super flat and easy to put in that backpack um, just in case like throughout the day I just need to switch shoes just to give my feet something different I know flip-flops aren't the best but it would give me something else to wear so that is I think that's the only things I can think of that aren't in here that I would put is maybe extra clothing items for each day a different set of ears now I will say I am one of those people that would because I'm only going for four days and I have all this awesome like gear that I want to take pictures of I may take extra stuff to change my outfit throughout the day or to switch things up, change different ears to get pictures for different things because I like to do that. Um, so to the point that my friend Katie and I actually talked about maybe even getting like a little locker to just put the extra stuff in throughout the day. Lockers I think are $7 a day um, for a full locker. So that's not that bad, especially if we split it, like that's really not bad. Um, and then if we got wet on a ride or something, we could also change. Um, if my hair is straight, I might bring a brush, but my hair is usually really curly, so no. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I always have an extra ponytail holder on my wrist, so I don't have to put it in my bag, but that's always just there. And um, that's about all I got. I mean, really, my key things are like photography, so I like to have all that stuff, be able to touch up my makeup, and be able to use my phone, whether it's like needing a battery charge or whatever. Um, so yeah. But if you have any questions or have any suggestions on other great things to bring into the parks, then let me know. But hopefully this was helpful and then I will follow up when I pack this week for a packing video. All those will be kind of limited because I'm only going for four days. I'm still gonna pack quite a bit because I can because I have a checked bag so I can take whatever I want and decide when I get there what to wear. But so this will be fun and I am really excited to go. So hopefully you enjoyed this. If you have any questions about where I got anything or anything, just let me know. I'll honestly, I get a lot of things off Amazon. So 99% of the time it's probably from Amazon. 